In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil kettles and the Razor Rock Lupo 0.95. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil kettles. And this turkey looking thing here is from the book of kettles. Murphy and McNeil always have some cool and interesting uh, labels. This one comes to you from Murphy and McNeil from set four, excuse me, $17.99 for four ounces or on a cost chart there, $4.49 an ounce, which is a fair price, but also Murphy and McNeil in the United States has free shipping, no minimum. So if you add that into the value, it gets even better. This is a very nice scent. I'll put the notes for you on the screen. It's based on these Sauvage fragrance. It's really nice. Scent strength is right at that medium level. Really nice bergamot, geranium, lavender, vetiver, patchouli. It's got a brightness to it, but also a sort of herbal sort of tone to it, or herbaceous, I would call it. It's really, really nice. Uh, this one is in there. Aeon base, put the ingredients for you right there, which is tallow. Whether you get the Kodiak or Aeon, Murphy McNeil soaps are very, very good quality and I enjoy using them and their service is absolutely top rate. Bill over at Murphy McNeil is really a, a great guy and I enjoy using their products always. The razor for today is the Razor Rock Lupo, which is one of the best value uh, razors and all have shaved them as far as I'm concerned. Stainless steel made in Canada. The Lupo is $69.99, 316 stainless steel. This particular one has the 0.95 uh, blade gap. It's a very good razor. They have different handle offerings. Again, the Razor Rock stainless steel razors are some of the best values that can be had as far as I'm concerned, whether you're getting the Lupo, whether you're getting the Game Changer, the Hawk, the Mamba, all terrific shavers, all great value so we look forward to using that today and let's get right into it we have about 24 hours growth i know it's difficult to see in its lighting but this is just uh, plain water just misting the face to get a little hydration going we have our ap shape cover brush and there is our lather which is beautifully hydrated i never have any problems lathering murphy and mcneil it is a terrific quality soap and i really enjoy using murphy and mcneil products. I've always found them to be good. I know some people really prefer the Kodiak base, which is the, you know, it's got bare tallow in it for me. Um, and this is only speaking only for me. Either one is fine for me. Um, if the cost is different, I just rather have the Aon if it's less expensive, to be honest, but that's often the way I feel. I think once you get to a certain level of quality and a soap, it's kind of hard to, to make it much better. And the, when you do improve it, it's incremental you know, but, um, either way you go, whether it's Kodiak, whether it's Aeon, both are really good quality, easy to lather. The consistency of this was soft, but not too soft. It's not finicky whatsoever. As you can see that peak there folding over, just really good stuff. And I like the scent on this a lot. Very nice indeed. And again, it's always a pleasure to use Murphy and McNeil. All my interactions with Bill have always been very good. He's very appreciative of the support he gets. He really is a nice, uh, a nice guy. All right, we won't fool around with this lather all day, although it's fun to. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Hanging in there. My mom just didn't have a great day yesterday. She had no energy whatsoever, and it's it's really difficult because. Uh, she was such an active person and she just doesn't have it right now going through chemo and it's really hard for her not to do things. And so hoping today will be a better day and we're gonna believe that it is. That's how we're gonna start our day is thinking, day is gonna be a better day. <laughs> I don't know how I got all that water up there already. I'm uh, getting the shirt wet quite early in the shave. <laughs> uh, nice, by the way, I forgot to mention the blade. The blade today is the Gillette Ruby, which I can't recall if I've ever used this blade before. I might have, I don't know. But it feels quite smooth in the Lupo here. The Lupo 0.95 is an efficient razor while still being smooth. I like it a lot. I really like um, just about all the Razor Rock stainless steel offerings, except the one I didn't like was the BBS razor. I just didn't 
that was a rare miss for me for 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 uh, razor rock razor in stainless i just i don't know for some reason it just didn't feel right uh chris garcia loaned me one and i used it and it was one i did not buy but normally uh, more times than not when razor rock puts out a razor it's in stainless steel it's a hit and it is very well priced terrific value it will last you lifetimes if taken care of. You know, you don't want to do things like leave your blade in it for two or three weeks, you know, in a humid environment. You're going to start getting rust transfer if you do that. But if you take care of these stainless razors, you know, you're talking about your grandchildren <laughs> passing them down to someone. And uh, they're very durable. They feel great in the hand. And this happens to be a great shaver too. Again, I find myself liking almost every razor that Razor Rock puts out. And I've tried a ton of them over the years. Um, the ones that they've made in recent years though, are just, I mean, there's almost no one who just doesn't like them. You know, you might have some that like, oh, I'd rather have my, you know, premium razor for whatever the reason. But most people agree they are good shavers almost all. And a lot of times they do have uh, different blade gaps, so like 0.68 or 0.72. So if you don't want it quite as efficient as this one, you can get like 0.72. I think the Game Changer had like 0.68. The Mamba had some different offerings as well. Like I can't remember, maybe 0.53 and 0.70. I can't remember exactly, but all are great shavers and all are razors that I've kept. And believe me, you know, I've been through a ton of razors, a ton of products generally. You've seen, I mean, there's over 2,000 videos on between this channel and my old channel. You can see all the, uh, most of the things I've used over the years. And uh, not all, but most. And, uh, you know, I've used enough razors and soaps to develop an, an informed opinion, at least. You know, speaking my, from my perspective and use case. And I can tell you that the Razor Rock razors were the money a terrific, terrific value. And so keep that in mind. If you've been looking for a stainless razor and you want to get a lot for your money, Razor Rock is a, has been doing it for a long time and they do it very well. We don't hear as much from Joe as we used to. Um, back in the day, I think, uh, you know, he's kind of learned just to, just to let the product speak for itself, I guess. Um, and some people take that approach. I used to like uh, talking to Joe from time to time. I think he's a he's a cool guy, nice guy. I have spoken to him several times on the phone over the years, but not in recent years. He's not as public as he used to be, but he still puts out these uh, great products, great value in everything they do at a Italian barber. So there you go. Nice lather there. Very nice indeed. Really enjoying that. Could hear the water running there, so my dad must be up. I don't know. I could lather like this. I could fool around with like this all day just because it's it's fun, but we don't need to do that. I got a lot of stuff to do today. Gotta get up and make breakfast and get ready for work and so forth. But uh anyway, Razor Rock, uh really, really the name, in my opinion, is synonymous with good value. You get a lot for your money. The one thing I think, um, I think probably so, some of these soap formulas are probably showing their age a little bit now with Razor Rock. Um, but still, they work fine. Like, especially when you get those uh, triple milled soaps they have. They're such a great value and they work well. And even the, the regular soaps, you know, their formula, some have shown its age a little bit, but it still works magnificently. You know, it'll give you the slickness and so on and so forth. So all their stuff still, um, still works really, really well. Now let's talk a little bit about Murphy and McNeil again. This soap is quite slick as well. It does everything it needs to do. Lathers easily. It smells great. This is a, uh, Fragrance, I don't know if I've, I might have experienced this one before in another stuff, I can't recall, but uh, it's a nice scent. Um, someone told me there was one element 
I can't remember who, it might have been the shaving disciple, I'm not sure, but someone told me there's one element in this scent that that they didn't like, that sort of puts puts it puts them off. Part of the scent on this, although it's not listed in the notes, I don't think, sometimes it come, comes across in a way that you almost smell like um, just very slight hint of black licorice or anise. Um, but it's not in the notes, but I could see how people might pick that up. But it's very, very light and I only get it from time to time, but it's not off-putting for me. I really like this fragrance. And it's definitely a good quality soap. The soaps at Murphy and McNeil are, uh, I've never had any quality issues with a Murphy and McNeil product. Their splashes, their soaps, very, very nice. Their service, top rate. They tend to get things out quickly. They're reasonably priced. And uh, they're one of my favorite brands to use. So whenever I get a chance to use Murphy and McNeil, I'm always happy about it, happy to be supporting Bill. And this is a really nice soap. And one of the things about uh, Murphy McNeil, they have a lot of labels and names of their soap that are sort of based on Irish culture. And I'm of <laughs> Irish descent in part. And I don't know a thing about Irish culture, um, sadly. I'm sad to admit that, but I don't. So I didn't know what the Book of Kells <laughs> was just look like uh, some sort of uh, old school turkey on the label <laughs> but uh, bill is sort of uh, teaching us a few things about uh, irish culture and irish lore and so on or at least that region and uh, i appreciate that as well some of the names are a little bit hard to say i have to look them up like kochi i think is one of them and, I, and you have to you're forced to look these things up and then you learn a little something and i think that's cool But the, the products and service, hard to beat at Murphy and McNeil. McNeil, excuse me. And plenty of residual slickness there. As you can see, that razor gliding really effortlessly with no visible soap left. That's residual slickness. And again, I'll remind you, if you are new, do not do this. <laughs> Only shave in the areas where you have cream because you can get into trouble. If your lather isn't on point and you don't have that residual slickness and you start doing that, you can get some irritation. So be careful. Know your face. That's the most important thing you can do as a traditional shaver. Know your face, know your gear. That will take you farther than any, any piece of gear. Just simply knowing your knowledge and experience means everything, really. All right, excellent shave, excellent. Just an excellent kid here today. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back, get into the post, stay tuned. And all right, we are back at off cam. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock Alum. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles, really fantastic. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. There's Witch Hazel had an excellent shave today with Murphy and McNeil Kells. If you like the scent of Sauvage, pick this one up, medium scent strength. Very good quality, great service at Murphy and McNeil. Nothing not to like, in my opinion. The Razor Rock Lupo, also absolutely outstanding. Great value, loosely based on the uh, Wolfman razor. It is a terrific shaver. It is a great value, fantastic. I do recommend it. We used our AP Shave Co. brush and our Lancaster Razor Works uh, brush soaking mug. Of course, our Captain's Choice bowl. I'm going to close things out today. I'm hearing a lot of water spray. I don't know what my dad's doing down there. But anyway, um, Razor Rock Emperor Aftershave, which I'm still working on. It does not smell like the soap. It smells like a Creed Aventus, and I'm trying to kill this bottle. And, and when you get to the bottom of a bottle, it seems like you use more and more, and it just kind of lasts and lasts. <laughs> uh, but this is a very nice scent. I've had this one for quite a long time, and I've almost gotten it killed. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have beautiful shaves today. Hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.